Welcome to Strasbourg and Bollier, the St. John Marana Parish, and another midweek message. Uh, I've got some notes because I want to make sure I stay on topic. First of all, I would like to apologize for the white socks last week. I've put on appropriate dark socks. I've been told that this is the right thing to do, and as I am fashion conscious to the, uh, to the degree that I am reminded about it. So there's been a lot of talk going around lately about silver linings. And of course, every dark cloud has its silver lining, as we know. And we've been dealing with COVID-19 long enough now that, I've, that more and more people are willing to look for and it's starting hard to look for the silver lining in this. In what, what we can get out of uh, the, uh, the pain and the confusion and all of the complications that this has put into our lives. And certainly the COVID-19 virus is a very serious issue and we have managed to be very successful in what they say, flattening the curve, reducing the numbers of, of people rushing in to the emergency rooms and it has undoubtedly saved lives. And we need to continue to do what we can to care for one another and love one another. But yes, it is serious and people are dying. But of course, we know that that's part of life. People die from various things all the time. The problem is grief is complex. And this COVID-19 epidemic and what we are doing to moderate it is also making it more complex. It complicates our grief process. We've had deaths in the community. We've had deaths in the parish and it's made it impossible for us to meet together and to grieve together as we normally would. And that's really difficult. It's challenging for the families. It's challenging for the community. It's challenging for us as a church because we want to support our families. We want to support our friends and neighbors. So in the middle of this pandemic, we can't gather as we are used to, but there are things we can do. Of course, we can reach out through telephone, through messaging services, through whatever technology we have. And we certainly have the uh, great advantage of having these techno technological opportunities to support and, want, and to reach out to one another and to be in contact while still being safely physically distanced. So that's a silver lining, if you will, our chance to, up, to support and, and uplift one another. But we also have another technology, an ancient one, one that way precedes even telephone or telegraph. It's the technology of prayer and prayer is something that transcends time and space, culture and community, individuals, and it reaches into the eternal. It reaches into realities beyond what we see. When we engage in prayer, we connect with our creator. We connect with our savior. We connect with the one who sustains us, supports us, the one who is the very life breath within us. We connect with the Spirit of God. So let's continue to support one another in prayer. Use these quiet times, these times away from the hustle and bustle of life that seems to have picked up and picked up pace so much over the last years. Maybe a chance to step back and to spend a little bit of that free time, those extra hours, take some of that time to spend it in prayer, in calming our hearts, meditating on the scriptures, meditating on God, just sitting quietly, even a few minutes a day, to pray, to meditate, to just be in God. And if we can do that, perhaps that will be one of our significant silver linings in the middle of something that has been very painful for so many. Thank you.